Good day everyone, welcome to One Stop Academy. My name is Anthony Chinedu. Today we are going to discuss about computer network learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a computer network, know the components of computer network, types of network topologies, types of computer networks, key computer network terms, and uses of computer network. Definition A computer network is a collection of computers, servers, mainframes, network devices, peripherals, or other devices connected together to enable sharing of files and data as well as hardware resources. An excellent example of a network is the internet. The internet is the network of networks which connects millions of people all over the world. This diagram shows a local area network connected to the internet. You can see the clients, we have the laptop, the desktop computers, the printers and the server. We also have the switch connecting all the devices together and also other wireless devices on the network connected to the internet. Components of computer network. We have the NIC which stands for Network Interface Card. We also have the hub, the switches, the routers, cables and connectors. Network Interface Card. Network Interface Card is a device that helps the computer to communicate with another device. The network interface card contains the hardware addresses such as the IP address and the MAC address. The data link layer protocol use this address to identify the system on the network so that it can transfer the data to the correct destination. There are two types of network interface card. We have the wireless network interface card and the wired network interface card wireless network interface card all the modern laptops use the net the wireless network interface card in wireless network interface card a connection is made using the antenna that employs the radio wave technology wired network interface card cables use the wired network interface card to transfer the data over the medium. You can see we have the wired network interface card, the ports where you plug in the cable. We also have the wireless network interface card with the antenna. But with modern laptop, the antenna is inbuilt. You cannot see the antenna. When you use your Wi-Fi to connect wirelessly to the network, the hub. The hub is a central device that splits the network connection into multiple devices. When a computer requests for information from a computer, it sends the request to the hub. The hub distributes this request to all the interconnected computers. The switch. Switch is a networking device that groups all the devices over the network to transfer the data to another device. A switch is better than a hub as it does not broadcast the message over the network. It sends the message to the device which it belongs to. Therefore, we can say that switch sends the message directly from source to destination without broadcasting the message to all the computers connected on the network. Router Router is a device that connects the LAN to the internet. A router is connected to at least two networks, commonly the local area network and the wide area network. Then the local area network could be ISP network. ISP stands for Internet Service Providers. Router are also called gateway because they are placed between two or more networks. Cable and connectors. Cable is a transmission media that transmits the communication signals. 
there are two types of cables. We have the twisted pair cable, the coaxial cable, and the fiber optic cable. The twisted pair cable is a high-speed cable that transmits the data over 1 gigabit per second or more. The coaxial cable resembles a normal DSTV cable. It's more expensive than twisted pair cable, but it provides high data transmission speed. Fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable is a high speed cable that transmits the data using light beams. It provides high data transmission speed as compared to other cables. It is more expensive as compared to other cables. A diagram, we can see the connectors. We can also see the cables, the connectors connected to the switch. Network topologies. The mapping of a LAN design is called topology. There are four categories. We have the star topology, the bus topology, the ring topology, and the mesh topology. Hybrid combination of these topologies also exists. When you connect one or more uh, topologies together, when you have one or more topologies together on a network, we call it hybrid topology. Star topology. All computers and devices are connected to a main hub or switch. The hub or the switch amazes and disposes the flow of data within the network. Star topology is the most common type of network and follows the Ethernet standard. Bus topology. In this arrangement, computers and devices are connected to a single linear cable called trunk. The trunk is also referred to as the backbone or segment. Each end of the trunk must be discharged to prevent the signal from rebouncing back of the cable. Ring topology. Computers and devices are connected to a closed loop cable. Here, there are no termination ends, so if one system crashes, the entire network goes down. Each computer functions as a repeater and charges the signal before sending it to the next station. Mesh. Every node is connected to another one with a point-to-point -to -point topology and every node is connected to each other. This diagram shows example of a mesh topology. As you can see, all the systems are connected together. Then the ring topology, all the systems are also connected together. Then the star topology. We also have the three topology and the bus topology, which all the computers are connected in linear form. Types of network. There are many different types of network which can be used for different purposes and by different types of people and organization, depending on their network demand. Here we have a um, few types of network and the first one is the LAN. LAN stands for Local Area Network. We also have the PAN. PAN stands for Personal Area Networks. We also have the Home Area Networks. When you connect your personal devices such as your smartphone your printers your television and other devices then you have created a home area network we also have the wide area network in wide area network it covers a larger geographical area usually uh, within um, reduced more than one kilometer we also have the campus network mainly deployed in university we also have the metropolitan area network also have the enterprise private network also have the internet network which sometimes referred to as the internet also have the backbone network and the global area network the global area network is also referred to as the internet because it's the connection of more than one network which is the network of networks key networking terms we have open system open system is when a system is connected to the network and is prepared for communication a closed system is not connected to the network and so cannot be communicated 
with IP stands for Internet Protocol, the network address of the system across the network, which is also known as a logical address. Without the IP address, devices cannot communicate on the network. So the IP address is the unique ID of each network, of each devices connected to the network. Port. A port is a channel through which data is sent and received. Nodes. Node is a term used, for, used to refer to any computing device such as computers that send and receive network packets across network. Network packets. The data that is sent to and from the node in a network is referred to network packets. Routers. Routers are pieces of hardware that manages router uh, packets. Determine which node the information came from and where to send it to, from source to destination. A router has a routing protocol which defines how it communicates with other routers. We also have the network address translation, a technique that routers use to provide internet service to more devices using few public IP addresses. A router has a public IP address, but devices connected to it are assigned private IP addresses that cannot be routed on the internet, that cannot be used on the internet. So we have the public IP address, which we can use on the internet, and also have the private IP address, which we use locally. We cannot use it on the internet. We also have DHCP, which stands for um, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It's a protocol that automatically assigns IP address to hosts on a network. We also have the ISP. ISP stands for Internet Service Providers. These are companies that provide us with internet services. If you're using your mobile phone to browse, maybe you're using MTN, Glow, or Tisalat, they are your internet service provider. Uses of computer network. The main use of computer network is sharing of resources. So resource sharing is the sharing of resources, programs, you can share a program, you can share printers, you can share many things on the network. So the main one of the one main uses of computer network is resource sharing. We also have the client uh, server client model. Computer networking is used in the server client model. A server is a central computer used to store the information and maintained by the system administrator. Clients are the machine used to access the information stored in the server remotely. Communication medium. Computer network behaves as a communication medium among the users. For example, a company contains more than one computer has email system which the employees use for daily communication, e-commerce. Computer network have paved the way for a variety of business and commercial transactions online, popularly called e-commerce. Users and organizations can pull funds, buy or sell items online, pay bills, manage bank accounts, pay taxes, transfer funds, and handle investments electronically. And all these are made possible by computer network thank you for watching this lesson if you have not subscribed to one stop academy don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this video click the like button